In a powerlifting meet, judges have to decide if a squat is to depth. And according to most federations rule set, this means that the hip crease is below the knee. They have to do this in real time in a split second decision, making it by far the hardest lift to judge. Today we go over 5 lifters that got a world record in a highly controversial decision. Tom Callas Tom is undoubtedly one of the best squatters in the world holding records in three weight classes. The first time he set a record was in 2015 when he was only 22 years old. He competed as a 75 kg lifter and was able to squat well over 4 times body weight. Unfortunately his performance wasn't able to impress everyone because a lot of people called him out on that. Tom didn't let this bother him too much and he continued training and in 2018 he was able to capture the 90 kg world record, two weight classes up from his original record. But this time the judges weren't unanimous either because he received one red light for depth. Tom was still missing one record from his collection, the 82.5 kg one. In 2019 he made the cut and he squatted close to 800 pounds enough to reach his goal. The footage was again shot from a front angle, so it remains hard to see if he actually made that. Kali Ressinen Kali is a very accomplished lifter in the equip division. He has been competing for over 10 years and has a lot of wins to his name. With all this success in one branch of the sport, he decided to take his chances in the raw division in 2019. And it didn't take him long to get to a world record attempt. In his second meet and reps he was already able to get to the top with a 390 kg squat. Even though the squat did get white lighted, people were not happy with his depth. And I don't think Kali was either. Only one month later he competed again and he was able to redeem himself. He squatted a half kilogram more, but to way better depth. Yuri Belkin For most of his career Yuri Belkin has been known for his ridiculous deadlift. He has been able to pull 900 pounds for years on end now. But in 2019 Yuri wanted to change that and get his squat up to par with his deadlift. In the beginning of the year he squatted over 900 pounds for the first time as a 110 kg lifter. His depth didn't look too convincing, but he wasn't getting a lot of backlash at that point. That was until he cut down to the 100 kg class later that year to capture the record. Unfortunately it seems like weight wasn't the only thing that was cut that day, since his depth was significantly worse than his last meet. To close the year off he decided to take it up a notch and compete amongst the best super heavyweights in the world at Boss of Bosses 4. He was able to increase his competition best in the squat even more, but the same depth problems kept arising. Eduard Gunjan Eduard has had a long and controversial career. In 2018 he first took the squat world record in the 110 kg weight class. While his depth didn't look terrible, it didn't look too convincing either, but in 2019 things got way worse. He competed in the same meet as Kali and it seems like judges were quite lenient that day. He was able to increase his squat by 5 kg but people online were furious. His latest meet was during quarantine and he broke the world record again by 5 kg. Andrew Herbert to close the list off, we have a wholesome story for you. Andrew has been one of the top contenders in the 110 kg class for years now. Since he is also one of the best squatters in the division, he thought it was time in 2019 to actually prove he was the best. Andrew tried to go for the 427.5 kg record two times. The first time didn't happen, but the second time got white lighted. Initially he was very happy with his big achievement, but when he got home and reviewed the footage, he realized the judges made the wrong call. He took to social media and acknowledged the judges mistake, stating that he would rather try again and do it the right way. Regarding the squat, I didn't see it at all until the night after the meet, till I got back to where I was staying. When I saw the video finally, I was like, oh man, you know, like that looks high and you know, Going back, I just wish I could have that moment again and 
and just go down further. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. Let us know what you think are the worst goals in powerlifting and make sure to like and subscribe and check out our other videos.